come into the studio, I like to set the vibe. Burn some incense, light my beeswax candles, and just feel like I'm ready to start my day. I also like to write in my bullet journal when I get in. I'm a big to-do list person, and I like a physical list. I like writing it out. I have my pen of choice and my paper of choice, and I write out a few things that I want to accomplish today, like the main things, because I can get carried away with writing a million things. I try to highlight my top priorities because I'm extra, I like to write it out, I like to highlight it, I like to use different colored pens. It's my vibe. It's a danger zone in here. Many, many buckets happening. Adding more kutch to my dye bath. This is how I get my rust color. I have my electric kettle here, my dye, and then my little whisk and pot. nook. It's pretty crowded. I have a lot of precarious things placed on the ground here. Such is life. Gotta watch your step. <laughs> I have my terracotta dye bath. This is a mix of matter and some other things. And this is my acacia wood kutch dye bath, which I just showed you. This is my work sink. It's pretty dirty, but I did just clean it, so you can imagine how much worse it was. Here's some of my regularly used dye things. There you have it. Whenever I get a new order for a store, I just print it off here and write on there when I'm gonna ship it. This is my little shipping station here. I have my stickers, postcards that say thank you, my recycled tissue paper, some boxes I'm gonna be reusing to ship in. And when I put these orders together, I put them on the shelf here and then I write what else needs to go into the order. I also have my little dry erase board, which I normally write what I'm gonna work on. Since it's still the beginning of the week, I haven't really filled it out yet, but yeah, this is my messy little area. <laughs> swatches that I made that I'm really excited about with some of my natural dye paint. I love the check. It is 5.56 p.m. and I'm just now going to the studio. I've been working on my computer all day at my house and I'm ready to get into some stuff because staring at the computer screen makes me feel like my brain is gonna explode. a Bluetooth speaker and I listen to it every single day. <laughs> How could you work without some good tunes in the background? I used to listen to podcasts 24 seven and then I fried my brain and realized that I just can't take in podcast information all the time. Also, I think I'm emotionally scarred from listening to too many true crime podcasts. At night, I'm laying in bed thinking about all the true crime podcasts that I listen to that I will now live in fear from forever. <laughs> I love listening to WFMU, this New Jersey radio station that you can just stream online. 
They have all different types of music on there and there's no ads or anything. It's an indie radio station. Specifically, I love listening to Sophisticated Boom Boom. I'm obsessed with this DJ. Her name is Sheila B. And she's just so sweet and bubbly and I look forward to it every Friday and I listen to it in my studio and I'm just jamming out, filling orders, dancing around. <laughs> I'm on Spotify like vigorously favoriting all the songs and then using them for the weekly playlist that I make. I highly recommend checking out that show or following me on Spotify. I'm working on stamping these hang tags for this napkin order. And these are my stamps. I have different stamps for every die that I use. I literally used to hand write out every single hang tag and it just took a long time. I just recently moved to the stamp system and it's honestly already saved me so much time. Plus, I like the way it looks and it's fun to just stamp things out. <laughs> I brought this yoga mat to my studio because it's really good for me to take a break. I don't like to take a break. I like to get in the zone and then once I'm in the zone, I'm just laser focused on what I'm doing. Hours later, I'm like, I haven't had any water and I'm not breathing and I'm in a state and I just need to like chill and do a downward dog and make sure I'm not gonna have a stress attack or something because we're not saving lives here. on doing some pressing at my ironing board. Pressing all these napkins. I have a stack of napkins here. Washed them all at my house and then I just bring them back to the studio and press them. Just use a little bit of water and my iron. Getting zenned out, listening to music and ironing. Ironed with love. <laughs> working on a pillow project where I make a different pillow every day for 30 days. I kind of feel like I'm just making these soft, loving little creatures made with my linen fabric scraps that just make my heart happy. I'm just having too much fun with this, honestly. These are my pillow children and I love them very much. All right, you guys, I think I'm gonna call it a day here, but thanks for watching my first ever studio vlog. What'd you guys think? I'm excited to make more of these. Let me know if there's any part of the process you're particularly interested in. Uh, I'd love to talk about like business stuff and dye stuff, textile stuff. Like and subscribe. Uh, talk to you soon, bye. <laughs>